So please tell me about you and why you became a doctor. Well, it was a long journey for me to become a doctor. I came from a household where my mother believed that doctors were next to God. You know, they were just um, unbelievable people. She had such reverence for them. And because of the background that I came from, I never aspired to be a physician. You know, it was just way beyond my social status, to say the least. Well, fortunately, we enjoyed pretty good health during most of our youth. We saw the doctor on occasion, Dr. Foster, by the way, was his name, on occasion for childhood problems. And he, he served our needs quite well. But again, I never thought that I could become a doctor. And then something uh, that, you know, you look at it as a tragedy, but you can look at it as an opportunity it happened to me at age 18. I was at Michigan State University and I woke up one morning confused. And as the day went on, I progressively lost the ability to move the left side of my body. Even my smile was lopsided by the end of the day. But I had a rule and that rule was, as long as I went to class, I would pass. And so I had to get to class, but I had a problem, I couldn't walk. So I got my, my roommates to give me a ride in their car to my algebra class, but they tricked me. They tricked me, they instead took me to the health center at Michigan State University, where I spent the night in isolation. Then they sent me to Grace Hospital. And there I spent the next two weeks being examined by this, some of the best doctors in Michigan. They wanted to see this curiosity, an 18 year old that had a massive stroke. And that only happens about a thousand times a year in the United States that uh, teenagers have strokes and heart attacks. So as a result, I got to see a lot of really, really smart doctors to say the least, a lot, of, a lot of next to gods to say the least. And they would come in and see me and there I laid in my bed, uh, injured obviously, I couldn't move the left side of my body and they would ask me questions. And, uh, and I would ask them questions. And I came down to three basic questions for these, these very intelligent doctors. I said, what's wrong with me? What are you gonna do for me? And when am I gonna go home? And after two weeks of listening to them and mostly watching them, they didn't say much, but they just kind of shake their head and go, I don't know. And they walk out of my room. I said, good grief, I can do that. And so I left uh, after two weeks against medical advice, but they weren't doing anything for me. And instead of even going home, I went back to Michigan State University where my life course changed in the sense that I got out of hotel, restaurant, institutional management, which I'd have been terrible at because I'm not all that a friendly a guy. And I started in veterinary medicine and soon ended up at uh, the College of Human Medicine at Michigan State University, where I was on track to become a doctor and to become the doctor I am today. So really out of a misfortune, a massive stroke at 18, which has plagued me for 58 years now, uh, it became a real opportunity. I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you today if it wasn't for that. 